Hey, what's cracking? Today we're going to take a look at AV Linux. And right here on the website, it says that they have a new ISO update and it says AV Linux MX Edition 23.2 ISO update. And from their website, it says this is an ISO update to AV Linux MX Edition AVL-MXE that addresses a few annoying and potentially show-stopping bugs that appeared in the first release of AVL-MXE 23.1. Obviously, the jump to a new Debian platform, Bookworm in this case, a completely new desktop environment, Enlightenment, and a whole new way of handling system audio, Pipewire, was bound to scare a few bugs out of the woodworks. And boy, did it ever. Hopefully, this ISO will help people get off to a better start with these various new features and fixes. And you got some uh, information on uh, what's being fixed. Got the change log information few screenshots and everything so uh i got it up in the virtual machine so let's uh head over there get it installed and take a look at av linux mx edition 23.2 and we are here on the virtual machine and uh got the uh mx welcome up and it says right here, AVL MXE 23.2 Enlighten. And there's a button right here to install AVL. We'll go ahead and click on that. And it's going to start up the installer. And now it's gathering information. And all right. So click on next. And I won't encrypt or nothing. Just do a regular install. Click next. And right here says the MX Linux installer will now perform the requested actions. These actions cannot be undone. Do you want to continue? Format and use the entire disk for MX Linux. Use it. While it's installing the system, you can actually uh, go ahead and start adding your information and stuff like that. So right here by default, it says computer name MX, computer domain, example DOM, and work group, whatever. And I'll just click on next, leave that alone. All right, localization, United States, American English, time zone. I got to change this to Los Angeles. There it is. Yeah. Leave it just as the way it is. All right, now I'll enter my uh, user info. And give it a strong and complicated password. Repeat the complicated password. And root account, do the same thing. And I'll select auto login and click on next. All right, so from here, we just have to wait for the system to just complete installing. But you got some tips right here. It says getting help. Basic information about MX Linux is that it gives you a uh, website link right here. There are volunteers to help you at the MX forums. Get to forum link. If you ask for help, please remember to describe your problem and your computer in some detail. Usually statements like it didn't work are not helpful. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, so this installation is now 21% complete, so we'll see how long it takes for it to completely install. All right, and the installation is now completed, so uh, we'll go ahead and click on Finish, and we should reboot into AV Linux MX Edition. Okay, we are rebooting now, so uh, one of the first things I need to do is fix the uh, screen resolution. So let me go and find that. And I'll click on OK and close. I'll close that. All right. Screen resolution is now fixed. All right, so this is a AVL-MXE 23.2 Enlighten. And I guess they're using the uh, Enlighten desktop environment now, which I think they've always been using it, or maybe they are. this is something new. I think maybe before they were using the awesome window manager, but who knows? Anyways, we're here now. We got a welcome screen right here, and uh, we got two tabs. We got an About tab, and then we got a Welcome tab. And on the Welcome tab, we have a... Uh, the website, we have the Enlightenment website, configure wine staging, tools, support AVL, and then we have the MX Linux website, a tutorial video, Windows plugin setup, popular apps, and Pipewire settings. So on the about, we just have information about the uh, developers and things like that. Uh, you got your MX version, Debian version. And it tells you when it's supported until it says right here, June 2028. And the desktop right here, it says Enlightenment version 0 0.25.4. All right. Go ahead and close this uh, welcome screen. All right. So the Enlightenment desktop, we have a panel on the bottom. We have a dock panel on the side with uh, applications. We have a couple of icons. So one is the, uh, I think that's the install disk. 
and another one is con man all right so on this panel i'm not too familiar with the uh, enlightenment desktop environment but i can see you have the uh, power button right here on the side on the right lower right and from right here you can power off suspend lock reboot hibernate or log out and then next to that what is this right here let me click on it see what happens i guess it gives you your internet connections and then next to that we have built-in audio there analog stereo so it's a volume control and then next to that we have a clock clock opens up a calendar and it also has some settings I'm gonna click on it again make it disappear and then i uh, got an american flag i guess uh just to notify that you're us and then on the left hand side we have a mx pack installer so let me enter my password all right so this is just the uh curated uh application installer so they're all listed by sections you got audio browser children desktop environments development docs email file managers ftp games graphics icons kernels language media center media converter messaging and misc so just to take a look at it and see how it works let's say i want to install audacity i'll just check it and then there's a button right here that says install all right click on okay and that's how that works right here so you know if you want to check out desktop environments or anything else that's on this list you can go through it and there's also a tab here to enable repos so if you want to enable certain repos you can do it here you got your mx test then you got debian backports it gives you a warning again and then you got flat packs again another warning and you got console output so it's basically everything that happens in here get your output right here all right and let's take a look at the about and it is the mx package installer version 24.3.03 all right go ahead and close that and then next to that we have mx tools so mx tools is uh their tools so right here you got live with live usb maker snapshot you got maintenance with a curated set of tools you got setup you got software and you got utilities and this also has an about so mx tools version 24.3 all right and then next to that we have terminology which i believe is a terminal oh there you go now i'm dragging that just put it in the middle and let's see if we have something simple like htop installed and we do but uh because of the theme in it kind of makes it uh hard to see but it is there let me move it up a little bit because that av linux is showing through but yeah you can see it better right here now and on the memory well the memory it's not giving me no numbers no nothing all right but the load average is 0 0.16 0 0.26 and 0 0.12 all right, let me go ahead and uh, close that out, see if they got NeoFetch. And under the OS, it's showing as a uh, MX kernel 6.6.12. And you got your window manager, your theme, icons, terminal, terminal font, CPU, GPU, and your memory. All right, and that was terminology. And next to that, we have Thunar, which is a file manager. And let's see what version of Thunar we're we using. It's Thunar 4.18.4. .4. Usually, you'll find Thunar on the... Uh, xfce desktops and of course we got our friendly neighborhood firefox all right go full screen with that take a look at the about and firefox is 124.0.2 and it says updates will come through your package manager mx linux 10 or 1.0 and that's your web browser and then right here you got your desktops so desktops workspaces whatever you want to call it they're all right here and then there's a little uh wrench here so this is your settings move that in the middle and right here you got a your look you got your apps screen input windows menus and there's even a scroller so i guess there's more things all right so this is your settings manager all righty and then you got a little uh, up arrow right here Clicking on that just opens up an application menu. So you got right here your standard layout for applications. You got accessories, preferences, programming, graphics, internet, sound and video, office, and system tools. Then next to that you got, or below that you got navigate. So this would be like your home folder, desktop, favorites, a group. Then you got run everything. I guess it's like a launcher. You got a button right here to take screenshot. You got your desktop, windows, 
enlightenment, settings, and system. And then next to that, you have another menu, which is, uh, I've never seen this menu at all, but right now it says applications. You got accessories, graphics, internet, office, preferences, programming, sound and video, and system tool. So let's go to sound and video. And they have quite a range of uh, tools right here. So, I mean, it is AV Linux and AV stands for audio video. I'm going to assume and pretty much from looking at this uh, menu right here. Yeah, they got a whole lot of audio video, but we uh, did uh, audacity. So let's take a look at that. All right. And it's opened up now and it says incompatible plugins found and it gives you a list of the plat the, the plugins that are not found. So I'll just click on continue. Don't show this and start up again and click on OK. All right, so this is Audacity. We use the uh, MX installer to install it, and you got your regular options, file, edit, select, view, transport, tracks, generate, effect, analyze, tools, and help. And under help is what we have our about, and it is Audacity 3.3.3. All right, now going back to this weird menu right here, I guess every time you open up something, it'll just uh, place it right here. It's kind of like uh, the Rofi menu. Every time you use something, it moves it to the top. I'm guessing this is the same thing that happens right here. But there's also some buttons on the bottom. So you got like applications, settings, and plugins. All right. Like I said, this is a weird menu. I've never seen nothing like this, but uh, eh, it is what it is. And then over here, you got some uh, pinned applications. So that's Ardor, Audacity. AVI DMUX, Blender, Cinelera, Harrison Mixbus, Caden Live, Muse Score, OpenShot, and Reaper 7. All right, for all of you audio video enthusiasts, I guess this would be the system for you. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is a system D free. I think it's, uh, well, I could be wrong about that, but I'm just guessing on that part. But I think it is a, one of those uh, system B free systems. But, uh, hey, leave a comment and let me know if uh, I'm wrong about that. All right, you guys. Well, I want to take a look at AV Linux since they just had a update, a bug fix update. And, uh, yeah, everything's working good. Everything's, uh, looks, uh, good on here. So, uh, that's going to do it for this, uh, quick overview. All right, you guys. And I'm out.